One time when I was, I think I was like five, I'm going to start from early age and keep going on. So I'll tell embarrassing stories when mm-hmm. I was younger. Oh, totally fine. When I was like five, I lived in this apartment complex. There's like five big apartment buildings and all the kids, we would all hang out together and stuff after school. And one time we were all hanging out about to play like freeze tag or something. And one of the older kids got behind me and he's like, hey, Kevin, look at the audience. And he pulled down my pants. And, like, not just my pants, but also my tidy whities yeah. yeah. And everyone just saw just my my small hairless nuggets hanging there and just my little pee-pee. <laughs> and, like, I remember pulling them up and I ran home crying. So. That's not very nice. Yeah. I know. Man. One. And, like, the sad thing is, is, like, it it wasn't even, like, that small. It was, like, I think it was, like, a decent size for being a kid. But it, it just yeah. never grew. Like, I yeah. grew around it. So. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, I mean, to his defense, it has grown half an inch since then. Yeah. So, but the uh, average size, well, what he said, the average size been. went down to like five and a half. So if it keeps going down in like a few years, I'm gonna mm-hmm. hit. I might, you know, yeah. I'll get. I might hit that 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 average. It's like that TMI <laughs> episode of South Park. So, um, I've been the best man in a couple weddings. Uh, this would have been my sister's wedding. And I had to get up in front of this this crowd of church people. It's like I don't know, like like a hundred, like maybe over a hundred people. And yeah. and I was, you know, I'm a short guy. I'm not that tall. And the guy before me, it was a little taller than I was, and he had the mic up pretty high. And I didn't know how to bring the mic down. <laughs> okay, and everyone I, clap for the the speaker. Uh, Vlade Divac, and coming up next is Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know how to bring the mic down. I tried giving. I was the giving the best man speech. Like this is like the supposedly was that like the biggest speech, and I couldn't reach the mic. I was nowhere near it, and so I just tried giving it, hoping that they would catch it on the mic. And they did not. <laughs> no one fucking heard. So, you. I, so I look at the crowd, and they pretty much gave me the look that they were giving Forrest Gump when he gave his Vietnam speech, because they. He didn't fucking hear a word I said. So instead of just trying again, maybe just grabbing the mic, I just raised my glass up, and nobody cheers to me, so I stood on my tippy toes and raised it as high as I could. And wow. finally, a few people felt bad for me and actually cheers to it. And then, then, I go to walk to sit down, and these are church, church people. They're supposed to be good people. I sit down, and the guy at the table next to me goes, man, that's the worst toast I've ever heard. <laughs> And I think back now, though. I think back now, my comeback should have been, fuck you, you didn't hear it. <laughs> hey, f- fuck you, guy. Should have said that. He didn't, nice. he didn't hear it anyway. He just said, fuck you, man. He didn't hear anything. So, in the Disney movie, Bolt. Was this a new question? No. No. Okay, this sorry. my answer. Okay. There's a character that's a hamster. He's pretty badass. Mm. And in one scene, he's like in his little hamster ball thing through the whole movie. Yeah. And there's a scene where they're escaping from something. Can't remember. It's like a door is shutting or something. There's something that's like coming closed. And he like wedges himself underneath it mm-hmm. and is like holding it open so everybody else can get under there. Yeah. And he's pretend he's he's motioning like he's actually holding it up, but it's actually the ball that's around him that's holding it up. Okay. Okay. And he goes, "This is a good day to die." <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Which is, I guess, like an, an Indian saying or something like Native American, maybe. Either way. I just posted that quote verbatim on my Facebook because I thought it was cool. <laughs> Everyone thought you were going to commit suicide. And that's exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. Uh, were there any Spencer? No. Were there any do its like fu- like dude, no, fucking just do were, it, man? There weren't. But I think I got like a phone call from from oh, my man. mom and oh. from my pastor. <laughs> you get a comment from like a cousin you haven't talked to in a long time. He's like, "Hey, Spence, uh, yeah, I've been scrolling through your Facebook, and it just you just do it, dude." <laughs> I would just do it. I, lo- I looked at some of your photos. Just do it. <laughs> yep, that, that, that'd be right. Okay, so you guys got another round? You guys want to do another yeah. embarrassing story? Cause I, 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 I don't have, I don't I have any more I'm willing to share. I went on this local TV show. It was called the Sunflower and Silly Show. And it was uh, it was like these clowns, these like female clowns, and it was like uh, you'd go on. There's like an educational show, yeah. And it was my turn to go on. Every now and then they show the crowd, and it's like three kids, and I'm one of those kids, and I'm like sitting on this rug, and like I'm smiling all big, but I don't have any front teeth. Either the whole time I'm on this show, either my flies down or I have like a wicked bad alfalfa hair. I don't remember. It's <laughs> one of those. But they call me up, and we're talking about bees. And, like, they keep asking me, like, hey, all right, uh, Kevin, 
uh, what can you tell us about bees? And I have like this super high voice. I'm like, <laughs> they sting people. <laughs> and she's like, oh, all right, all right. What else do you know about bees? And I'm quiet. And then I'm like, they sting people. <laughs> And I fucking kid you not, they ask me one more time. They ask me one more time. They're like, all right, what else do bees do? <laughs> they sting people. And then they oh, they man. make a joke, and they all laugh at me. <laughs> I don't remember what the joke is, but they all laugh at me. They all make fun of me oh, <laughs> on man. a fucking TV show. Yeah. I was a little kid. Yes. I didn't know. I was I shy. Want to see that fucking Fuck video. you, you clown bastards. I want to see that video. Your so fucking bad. clown shoes. And we do have the tape of that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dude. I, I didn't let so anyone bad. see it. No one it so saw bad. it, dude. At the uh, end of it, there's also me <laughs> in pajamas, <laughs> and I'm doing a bunch of cheers at pom poms. <laughs> Yeah. So collectively, that video's uh, uh, the worst thing ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if anyone finds that, I'm fucking done. <laughs> I am so done. I just uh, have like a camera and I do like how they do like bootleg movies at the theaters. <laughs> I do that when you're showing us a video. I just fucking post like it online. I'm sitting in my living room. Just <laughs> you somehow don't notice. Just fucking camcorder <laughs> sitting there like on a tripod in the middle of the room just aimed at the TV. So I was in this uh, play, this Christmas play at church one time. It wasn't like their typical Christmas pageant. It was like a real play. Mm. Like it was his own story kind of thing. Mm. And we were hooked up with these wireless mics. Okay. And uh, while the play was going on, I, you know, in the scene that I wasn't in, I was in the back. Mm. <laughs> and I, I left my mic on and I was talking to someone back there about sharks. <laughs> I was like 12 years old. I was like 12 years old. Oh my God. 10. I think I was 10. I was talking to them about sharks because that was like half of what my consciousness consisted of. Yeah. Was thinking about sharks. So uh. I, I was talking to someone about sharks in the back and everybody in the audience could hear me talking about sharks. It's like, to be or not to be? Hammerhead sharks can grow up to be... 11 feet long. <laughs> 11 feet long. <laughs> oh, dude, that's good. Man, my, you, both of you guys beat mine. I thought mine was going to be good. Which, That's uh, a good one, Smith. I can't believe you didn't think you had any. Dude. That That's was hilarious. awesome. That was, that was great. I wish that they would do like the thing from SpongeBob, like when the crowd's out there, they don't make any noises, and Spence pops his head out, and they, they all cheer, cheer like crazy. He's, he's sweeping the floor. They all stay to yeah. hear more stories uh, and facts about sharks. Uh, so when it's, this hasn't even been that long ago. This we I went to the Ashland Theater, so I mean that long ago, but yeah. So dude, I'll get my dad. Eh, oh my god, like. He probably cracks his joke. When did? How many years ago did that place close? I would say five, six. I would say on average, somewhere between three and six times a year, my dad will crack this joke. Like, hey, you see that movie playing in Ashland for sale? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a dad joke. I love it. Because uh, it says that on the fucking oh, thing man. all the time, dude. And he'll laugh while. super hard. <laughs> I love you, daddy -o. So good. So I believe this is with Luke, and actually I'm guessing I'll listen to this podcast probably with Luke. So Luke, if this is with you, hey, damn clarify it. that. Um, <laughs> but I believe I was watching a movie, and I'm 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 about 90% sure it was with Luke. Mm -hmm. But we kept trading punches that whole day, just like punching ourselves in the <laughs> arm. I'll try this fruit punch. <laughs> yeah, he tried this fruit cake. But, uh, <laughs> he hands you me. <laughs> <laughs> But then we were punching each other in the arm the whole day, and um, I was waiting to get a good one on him, you know. And and we're watching the movie. And I was like thinking about doing it during the movie, but I was like, no, I'll wait till we're we're getting out of here. And and he went out first, and I walk out and I punch him right in the arm, <laughs> and it fucking wasn't him. <laughs> I straight hit this Holy dude shit. like it's harder than good in the arm. <laughs> and it wasn't him. Imagine being that guy. And I was just You're like, like, oh, dude, that He fucking... turned around and like looked at me. I was like, fuck. I was like, I'm so sorry, man. I thought you were somebody else. And he's like, it's cool, dude. He like walks out of like, the movie theater. Oh, man. Throw mama from the train. This movie was fucking awesome. This day can't get any better. And you just fucking deck him. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Like, he took it so cool. <laughs> what, but did, then, he, did, he even, did he just stare at He you? just kind of gave me a look at first. Like, he was about to beat the fuck out of yeah. me. I, I kind of just didn't know what to say. And I was just like, I'm just going to have to take this. Like, <laughs> I'm going to take this yeah, beating. I deserve it. Like, yeah, like, like, I wouldn't even want to hit him back. You couldn't like, fight back. Yeah, I'm just going to, like, dude, I just punch you really fucking hard. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. But then I was like, you know, I'm just going to tell him what happened. So I was yeah. like, hey, man, my bad. I thought you were somebody else. And he was like, it's cool. 
<laughs> and then that that bothered me a little bit more. I was like, did it Dude. not hurt that much? He's like, that's cool, bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you hit me? I thought a fucking horsefly buzzed by me. <laughs> like going back to like the SpongeBob joke. He's like, "Hey, who threw that piece of paper at me?" <laughs> like I gave him all I had. He's like, "Oh, it's cool, man." Hey, hey if, if you're listening, fuck you, guy. <laughs> yeah, you I, bitch. I gave you all I had. Hey, you know what? I missed. So <laughs> it should have hurt more. Suplex City, bitch. Yeah, it would have been a one hitter quitter, man. I just missed. Uh, That's all that happened. My next embarrassing moment. Is oh, probably about yeah. I, I'm only at this is probably age age nine. I'm guessing. Yeah, I got another one. Yeah, at age nine, I was at a Holiday Inn, and um, I didn't really think too much about what I was doing, but um, lots of people swim at the pool at Holiday Inn, and yeah, like yeah. who knows how often they clean that and drain that and shit. Probably not very much. Well, I remember being in the pool and <laughs> putting all like, and then I would like get a mouthful of pool water. <laughs> And I would like spit it like straight up like like a fountain or like Triple H would do. Yeah. And like it didn't really dawn on me. Like I remember seeing like my aunts and my cousins like laughing at me from far away. And I thought they were laughing because they thought I was being funny. And like it didn't really dawn on me that like I pretty much put a mouth full of like straight balls and butthole soup. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's pretty much yeah. butthole dick ball soup that I put in my mouth. Yeah. Oh man. 